Good morning everyone, Max coming to you here from Bozeman, Montana. I moved out here just a few weeks ago and drove out from New York. I got a job as a cross-country ski instructor for the winter. It's working in a science outreach program and the local school districts, they, a class comes up to uh, the cross-country ski center every day and we get kids outside, we teach them how to cross-country ski. We uh, teach them some science lessons, some cool things going around in the environment. And it's great, you know, it gets kids off their phones, teaches them how cool it is to be outside. It's what I love to do, and I'm having a blast so far. So, it has been a fairly rough few months for me since I finished the ET. I've just had a lot going on at home. I've had a lot of challenges and I've been putting off those Appalachian Trail videos. So I have like two more videos left and I really want to get them done, but I just, I've just been pushing it off a lot. And now that I'm starting to get settled here, I'm hoping to finish those videos up. And to start that off, I'm going for a day hike today with my Border Collie Molly that I drove out with. And I got her when I finished the trail. She is awesome. Uh, great hiking dog. She loves it. We are going to go hike this range behind me. This is the Bridger, Bridger Mountains. And just the two of us. So avalanches are a big problem around here. So I've talked to a lot of local people just to make sure that what we're doing is safe and very low risk. Because one, it's just the two of us going. So I want to make sure what we're doing is right and there's very low risk for this hike we're doing today as I'm just learning the area and I know nothing about avalanches um, New York they're not really too big of a problem and that's it hopefully you enjoy the video today my hope my hopes are by making this video it's going to spark my interest in finishing up those Appalachian Trail videos and so you can see what's going on here in Bozeman. It's a, a lot different than the Appalachian Trail and a unique place. And those 2022 through hikers are going to start soon so they need to see these videos um, about what's going on on trail. Alright, enjoy it today. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. For Bozeman it's pretty warm. I think it's going to reach into the high 20s. And that's it. All right, I'm with Molly here. I just got her boots on and all set up. We are in the parking lot, ready to go. Looks beautiful out. It's about 12 degrees right now and warming up quick. Sun's out and the last video was from, that was in our backyard, so we have a pretty, pretty backdrop in the backyard. But let's get moving, Molly. All right. up this climb I'm just shedding layers like crazy the Sun is so warm and the wind isn't too bad it's a nice light breeze um, so this is the trail going up to the M it's a really popular trail I mean it's like 10 minutes outside of town um, 15 minute drive for me to get here so it's super close and it's really popular going up to the M there's lots of people but we're gonna pass the M. It's a big M in the, in the ground for uh, Montana State University. They put it in and you could see it from town, but there's snow on the ground, so we won't see it for a while. So we're gonna pass the M, which is a little less popular, and keep climbing.
just put snowshoes on. The snow is getting a little deep. Uh, there's not that many people using snowshoes on this trail, so it's a lot of holes for people, so snowshoes will also help preserve it. All right, we're gonna try to get to that second peak on the right side over there. I think it's Baldy, I'll have to check. Baldy, yeah, let's go with Baldy for now. Um, and it just keeps following this ridge, keeps on going. Um, we'll see how we're feeling. It's getting breezy. Molly's doing great. We're just gonna keep cruising. It's beautiful out, not too cold. We're having a good time. got some mountain goat poop here and right next to it's a mountain goat bed Molly definitely smells them that would be really neat if we could see one taking a lunch break here we uh, went like halfway up Baldy and it started getting icy and it was pretty windy so we turned around now we're in the valley um, on our way back so it's an out and back Really nice day today, there's a lot of snow, so it's slow moving up here. But it's just so nice, so peaceful. Here's Molly, wanting some love. She's doing great too. But this is what just keeps me going. Things like this, it's an awesome trip out here. I just love it. Just something I'll always look forward to is getting outside of the mountains. I think, you know, I've always appreciated it, but I think after, you know, being out hiking for six months in the woods, it's just a, a different kind of a kind of appreciation you have for what it means to be out hiking. It just, any chance is a good one. So we're going to work our way back down. I think it's like 1.30, um, blocked by the wind. It's not too bad. We, uh, we're on like the side of the mountain now, so we have some wind blockage. And the sun's out, so that's good. It's windy, it's chilly in the wind. But we're heading back down. There's this neat section with a lot of mountain goat tracks. It would have been really cool to see one. We still have to go through it again, so it would be neat if we could see it. I don't think we will though, especially having Molly around. Back down we go. Your spikes back on, tie the snowshoes to the pack. We're gonna head down off this mountain, get some food, and maybe a hot coffee. It's kind of fun living in a place without trees. We still got a while to go. There's Molly, way down there. You can even see the parking lot. Much different than the east. Back at the parking lot now. 
It was a good trip. Had some leftover pizza in the back I just finished. Bundled up since it's getting cold. And Molly did really well. I think it was almost eight miles to the top of Baldy. It's eight miles and we almost made it. It was getting above tree line and it started getting icy. So I didn't want to risk it up there. So we turned around just before the top. And the ridge up there is a steep, steep up and then walking on a ridge and it was just lots of snow. Trudging through snow. If people wore snowshoes, it would have been much easier. But there was just post holes because I think I was the only one that was wearing snowshoes. So that made it a little more challenging. But beautiful day today. It was just amazing out. Not too many people. Let's see, what else? Yeah, just a, a successful first hike. I love being up in uh, alpine environments, especially in the winter. So it was good to be back up there. Hoping for another one soon. And I promised you the rest of those AT videos. So if you see this, that means I'm probably working on them, finishing those up. And as always, I love seeing the comments so I could see who's watching these videos. So if you saw this, please leave a comment below so I see who you are and I just love reading them. Until next time, all right.